glory. I give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So in the book of Psalms 90 at verses 1, it says, Lord, thou has been our dwelling place in all the generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou had it formed the earth in the world, even from the everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. See, from everlasting to everlasting, he says that I am God. Amen. Before the world was even formed, hallelujah, he said that I am God. In verse 3 in Psalms 90, it says, Thou turnest man to destruction, and say of return ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but a as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. But he says a thousand years in thy sight, but as yesterday when it is past, the Lord is showing us that in God's eternity, there is life blessings in God's eternity, in God's life, in God's timing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So, so when we learn how to wait on his time and, and be in his realm, not in our realm, that's why I love it when he says, let this mind be in you, which is in also in Christ Jesus. Amen. So when our mind is in him, then we're steadfast in his ways, in his thoughts, and in his actions. Then I, you, we are not leaning to our own understanding. In verse 5 in Psalms 90, it says, Thou carried them away as, a, as with a flood. And they are as sheep in the morning, and they are like grass which grow up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up, and in the evening it is cut down and withered away. See, we don't want to be cut down. Are you hearing me today? We don't want to be cut down. We don't want to be withered away, but we want to flourish. Hallelujah. I want to flourish with God. See, we want to flourish with him. Are you hearing me this morning? Do you want to flourish with God? See, I don't want to be cut down like the grass. And I was, get, I was getting to that point where I'm like, I'm hustling, 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 bustling, bustling, bustling. But I'm like, I'm not doing my morning manner. Oh, you hear me? And sometimes we can get hustling and bustling and running in life. And we're trying to do this and we're trying to do that. And and we forget that, hey, slow down, pump your brakes. Are you hear me? There's, there's God like, listen, son, daughter, I need you to communion with me. Because when you communion with me, I will make them crooked places straight. Are you hearing me this morning? And I will make them rough places smooth. Hallelujah. So when we when we're when we're dwelling in the dwelling place, when we're consumed by him, come on somebody, in Psalms 90 and verse 7, for we are consumed by thy anger and thy wrath are are we troubled. Thou have set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the sight of the conscience, of thy conscience. See, God says, I will set your sin. I will set with your, your secret thoughts, my Lord. He says, I will put your secret thoughts before you. And sometimes we like, hey, God don't know what I'm going through. Or God can't see this. Or no man ain't going to see this. But God says, I know your secret thoughts. In verse 8, thou have set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the sight of our conscience. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath and splend our years as a tale that is told. Whew. The days of our years are three score years in ten. You see, three score years in ten. Mm. I want to hold on there for that for a second. Let me put a pin in that. Three score years in ten, right? But I want to live a life that is better than three scores in ten. Come on, somebody today. Do you want to live a life that is better than three scores in ten? Hallelujah. That is it found in verses 9. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, that's Psalms 90. 
Yeah, verse 9, all the days are passed away in thy wrath. And years in verse 10, and the days of our years are three scores and ten. And if by reason of strength that they be four scores years, yet in the strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and flew away. But see, our strength have to be in the Father, so our days are not cut off. Is somebody hearing me today? I'm not looking for just three scores and ten. I want to be blessed like how Abraham was blessed. I want my bosom to bless. I want my generation to be blessed. I want my parents, my children. Come on, somebody today. I want my children to be blessed. I want more than three scores and ten. He said, if be possible. If be possible. Verse 11. Who knows the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear, so that it is wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Mm. Teach me, Father. Teach me how to number my days, O oh Lord. And how do I number my days? That I, I commune with the Lord. I'm in a time, a prayer of Moses, the man of God. This was a prayer of Moses, of the man of Elohim. In Psalms 90, this is a, pray, a prayer of Moses. See, Moses lived the life. But he wanted to, he wanted to, see, he, it, it shows us that Moses was running after, he's running after, he's running after God's heart, he's running after God's grace, he's running after God's mercy, he's running, and he's not trying to seek first this and seek first that, but he's like, Father, teach me your ways, so teach us to number our days that we may apply your heart unto wisdom. Verse 13, return, O Lord, how long, and let it be. And let it repent three concerning the servant. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Say, do you want to be glad? Amen. Do you want to rejoice? Amen. I'm looking to be glad. I'm looking to rejoice. I'm looking to, to run after the heavenly things. Come on, somebody today. Are you looking to run after the God in the heavenly realm? Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yehovah. Thank you, Father, Yahweh. Jesus Christ, I thank you today. I thank you for the Ruach HaKadosh. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. God bless you.